So this here is an HP laser jet, 4100TN. I got this from my school. Um, I said I'd be getting another haul or more of stuff from my school. I'm currently in the process of that, so uh, I'll have a video when I have everything. But it just keeps adding up, and I have more and more to get home, so it uh, might be a little while. And it's been a while since I've uploaded because I've been dealing with that, and it's hard to film videos when you have to work around that sort of stuff, especially when I'm working on that sort of stuff as well. But this printer here came in a, a bunch of printers I got. I got about uh, four of them, and I have two more to get. Um, the two more smaller ones, and they're going to be a very interesting video topic when I get them home. But uh, basically, this is the one I was keeping for myself. I actually got two for myself. Um, and two for my work. So my work, I got them two Kairosia or Kaiseria, I don't know how you pronounce it, but they used to be a big partner with SimQuest. I got two of them model Ecosys 4200DN. Oh, they're very nice printers and uh, still very capable. They had about 60,000 per page count, so relatively new. They came with toner as well. So those two are for my work. I got this one for myself, for my desk. And then I got one more. It's a Kairosia Ecosys. I don't know the exact model, but it's a color printer from around that time. Uh, the 4200DNs that I got for my work, they came out around 2013. Or that's when those were manufactured. And Kairosia still makes a model similar to them. Uh, but yeah, it's basically that's what I got in that haul some other computing stuff, but mostly it was just to get the printers home uh, for my work. My work uses uh, HP LaserJet P14 or something. P14 followed by a few other numbers. They have one of them and then they have a a Monica Minolta, something like that, uh, scanner. And that's actually through some quest, but the HP they have is not. Uh, yeah, I got this one. And I also have a toner for it back there, and I'll, I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm also in my office right now. I don't think I filmed too much out here, and it's sort of desolate because my computer is in the living room because of networking problems. But, yeah, so first thing, I guess, is I'll print a test page out. So to do that on this specific model, because everything is different, uh, you go to click the menu button up here. So you see information, then you hit item to so your print configuration, and then you hit select. Gives you a toner low and then data. So it's printing that. This is actually my second HP laser jet for my school. The other one I have is a 2200 DN. I'll have a video on that as well, especially since I got a toner for it. And that might be what's wrong with it, although it has multiple issues. Uh, this one works just fine. So, laser jet 4100. A lot of this is just kind of boring. It's got 32 megabytes of memory. Uh, I think that's just for storing page information and stuff, caching it while things are being printed. Some information there. Page count is 302,000. The printer at work that is being replaced by those Kyo, Kyrosia, Kyonic, I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, it had, the one there has about 280 on it. They'll be keeping that one as, as an extra, or it'll be recycled. I don't know what one, but I don't really want it. I might take it to recycle it though. Uh, and down here, there's some more information, but on page count, I think it's this one. Maybe what's up here. So, yeah, about 300,000 pages printed. This thing was made in December of 2001, December 13th. And uh, it's been with the school since then, so pretty pretty amazing. This one actually came with two paper trays, but I, uh, I didn't get the other one. I left it there, and uh, it was basically there was a big bin of printers and other stuff. Um, but I left it there. It'll be recycled along with the rest of the HP laser jets. And there's one more of those color printers down there. 
from Kyrosia, but I just don't have anywhere to go with it. The one that I got is actually going to be stored at work. So, uh, but going around the printer, see the top. This yellow bit here, screw there. Um, so, SimQuest for so service and toner. Uh, if you don't know them, they're from around Vermont, main area. Uh, they service New York and New Hampshire, stuff like that. And I, I don't know if they're like a a, 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 a countrywide thing or if they're just an East Coast or what, but they're very common around here, uh, especially. So here's the toner. This actually has some writing on it that's private, so I have to work around that, but... It's just a SimQuest box. Yeah, the writing's on this side, so I gotta be careful here. Just cover this up with my hand, but laser jet. I actually didn't know this went to this printer until today, and then I picked it out. Um, did not realize. This is from their Burlington headquarters. They have one in Maine, I guess. I um, mean, the, the date on this, that was crazy. 2012. Uh, this was actually in a special ed room. I was in there for a study hall once and I actually saw it and uh, back then it had its two trays and I was like, I just remember, remember seeing it. It's always, it was always nice to see these older HPs um, still hanging around and clinging on. Uh, yeah, I was in there and this box actually says a teacher's name on it so it's definitely where it came from. Uh, so yeah, and then as far as why the school was, my school was getting rid of all this stuff, must be they have some deal with SimQuest. SimQuest was bought out in 2015 by that Konica Monica company, or Minolta, Konica Minolta. So that's all they sell now, or lease now, is Konica printers, which are kind of crappy, but the school replaced them, all their printers with the Konica models, even these older HPs, I don't know why they got rid of these or the newer ones. Like this one, I would understand. It's very old. And a lot of the other ones, the 4200s as well. But some of them weren't, weren't that old, and especially the Kyrosia printers weren't that old. But um, they might, it's probably just cheaper for them to go with SimQuest and to buy toner. Uh, today I also got this piece here. This is missing, and you'll see these missing this bit, this plastic piece. Um, there's actually a sticker down there I gotta cover. So there's a the power there. This is the printer serial. I don't know what this connector is called, but the other end of a parallel port basically. Up here some sort of data port. A um, accessory. I think that's a serial. And this is very interesting. It's got like a coax connector here. Ethernet and another one of them brown things. I don't know what that is, so. Uh, but yeah, this thing was, I don't think it was on the network. I think it was just connected to that teacher's computer. But, uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. It's my new printer. Uh, plan on getting a, a desk for it right there. I also planning on, planning on getting an HP ThinkJet, which is why I pulled out this dot matrix paper that I have, and I have some cables there, um, because I plan on getting a HP ThinkChat and using one of them, along with these, this one here, or my 2200DN that's in my room, although this is going to be harder to store, so I might just use it, especially since the 2200 has a bit of an issue with it, but, see, I don't think there's anything on the other side of this that's being covered up other than stickers that I'd have to cover so yeah there's nothing on that side of interest so uh yeah it's my new printer so I got that color printer although I'm not that's going to be stored at work um I have no nowhere to put that I really have nowhere to put this one right now but uh so yeah I will have some videos coming up I'll try to upload this thing this video today but I'm going to have some more coming up on uh, computer stuff. I've been gone for a little while, maybe a couple weeks. I haven't uploaded anything. But, um, been pretty busy with the school. Getting stuff home, not with school itself. It's the beginning of the year, school's still pretty 
easy, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, bye.